friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. These are so delicious, so healthy, nice clean ingredients, and a great addition to your menu for the week. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because we do a meal prep every single Monday. Down in the description box, I will list my recipe website where you will find all of today's recipes. Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. I cannot recommend this enough, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, Directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's get started on this week's meal prep. For breakfast this week, I'm making homemade healthy breakfast cookies. I'm going to pair this with some type of protein, whether that be yogurt, eggs, sausage. We're going to have a perfect well-rounded breakfast. And these breakfast cookies are great if you work outside the home because they're portable. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some rolled oats, freeze dried raspberries. You can actually really use any freeze dried fruit, salt, unsweetened applesauce, or a mashed banana. Some sweetener of your choice, I just grabbed a couple packs of my Whole Earth, vanilla extract, nut butter of your choice. Of course, I'm going to use my American Dream nut butter. I think this chocolate coconut truffle almond butter is going to pair perfectly with these breakfast cookies because we're adding in the ch some chocolate chips as well. So it'll be that chocolate strawberry vibe. I'm really excited for it. You guys know how much I love American Dream nut butter. Less points, less calories than traditional nut butter, more protein, just a better, it's just such a great nut butter. They have almond, peanut butter and cashew butter. This one is so good. And I think the coconut is going to pair really nicely in these breakfast cookies. I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you with 10% off. And like I mentioned, chocolate chips. We're only using a couple tablespoons, so I'm gonna do these mini chocolate chips. You could also sub out lilies if you would like. So let's make some breakfast cookies. So the first thing we're going to do is add our half of a cup of applesauce. And it says a scant half of a cup, so it doesn't have to be completely full and then one quarter cup of our nut butter and then mix that together until fully combined and then we're going to add in half of a cup of rolled oats salt about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract some of our whole earth sweetener. I'm going to do four packets. The recipe does say that this is a healthy tasting cookie and in order to add a little bit of sweetness, it recommended that you add some sweetener. We're going to do about three tablespoons of freeze dried raspberries. And then three tablespoons of mini chocolate chips. Give that a good stir. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So our goal is 10 cookies. So I'm going to use a small cookie scoop and I'm going to plop them onto a greased baking sheet. These look so delicious. We're putting these into that 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I just pulled our breakfast cookies out of the oven. They smell so good. I smell raspberry chocolate and that coconut from that nut butter. That nut butter literally tastes like a Mounds bar. It is so good. It's one of my favorite nut butters from American Dream. So I am so excited for these. We're going to allow these to cool for about 10 minutes. I'll package them up for the week and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. All right, breakfast cookies are cooled. They are packaged away for the week. Like I said, these smell incredible. I can't wait to eat these. These are going to be the perfect addition to my breakfast. So points, calories, macros are here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making turkey taco lettuce cups. These are going to be super low carb, high in protein, and I'm going to add 
cheese, avocado, sour cream, all the goodness to these. So let me show you what's in the recipe. So you're going to need some minced garlic, broth of your choice. I have this open beef broth, so I'm going to use that. Taco seasoning, tomato sauce, a pound of 99 or 93% extra lean ground turkey, one onion, and then for toppings, I'm doing avocado and cheese. And then of course, you're going to need some lettuce wraps. Like I mentioned, I'll probably add sour cream as well, but all of the points that I put up here on the screen, macros and calories will be without toppings. So in my case, without the avocado, without the cheese, you can just add whatever toppings you're gonna put on your taco cups, the whatever app you're tracking in. So let's jump into the recipe. So the first thing we're going to do for the turkey taco cups is get a skillet warming up on the stove with some nonstick cooking spray. We're going to add in our diced onion and allow that to start sauteing. I don't know if you noticed my new pans here, but I decided to treat myself to some caraway home cookware. Now it is a little bit on the pricey side, but the quality is impeccable. Nothing sticks to it. Everything cooks nice and even. The heating surface heats up evenly. Your food definitely cooks a lot more even than with any other cookware. It has an incredible, incredible warranty. And if you are someone who cooks a lot like I do, it is worth investing in really good cookware that will last you years and years. If you think about it, Caraway being on the expensive side, if you have to buy new pans, say every three to five years, you're investing a lot more than you would if you just picked up some caraway cookware that will last you. So I ended up getting the big skillet and I love that it comes in different colors. I love that they have these matching lids that are easily storable. And then I decided to go ahead and grab a Dutch oven too. I picked that up in that dark navy blue color. Absolutely stunning. All of the caraway cookware comes in these really nice bags. You could actually store your cookware in there. And then they all come with a cork trivet, which I have used a million times. In fact, that is what my breakfast cookies from today's meal prep are sitting on. I am absolutely loving my caraway cookware. I do have a discount code. I reached out to the company and they were so nice to offer a discount code for you guys. So I will link my pieces down in the description box. I am planning on picking up several more pieces. They have a saucepan. They just released some steamer baskets. I am going to eventually get the entire line. They have bakeware as well. Baking sheets, pans to cook cakes, brownies, muffins in. I am picking all of it up and will be transitioning completely over to a caraway home home because the quality is just cannot be beat. Look how beautiful this cookware is. I just, I honestly cannot get over it. I am going to go ahead and add my ground turkey. One thing I will tell you that I have cooked in this large skillet is Troy and I had eggs the other morning for breakfast and he wanted four eggs. So I was like, we need a big pan to cook your four eggs and my two eggs in. Nothing sticks to these. It is incredible. The eggs were cooked to perfection. Even Troy asked what I did different with the eggs. They just cooked so evenly and they were so incredibly delicious. I'm telling you, it is well worth the investment. And there's a discount code for you guys, which makes it even better. I plan on using that discount code when I pick up a few more of the pieces. I'm going to add about a packet worth of taco seasoning. If you don't have taco seasoning, the original recipe gives you the measurements for adding in your own cumin, chili powder, powder, etc., to make taco seasoning. But I have some on hand, so we're going to add that and allow this to cook down. I'm going to add in a big heaping scoop of minced garlic. I like to let that get a little bit fragrant before I add in the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to add half of a cup of tomato sauce and then half of a cup of broth. We're gonna stir that together, allow that to simmer until the ground turkey is cooked completely through. All right, our turkey mixture is done. Doesn't that look absolutely incredible? I went ahead and washed up and sliced up my romaine lettuce leaves, so those are ready to go for the week. I'll probably add a couple tablespoons of light shredded cheese, some fresh avocado, and like I said, some light sour cream. This is such a great high protein lunch. I will go ahead and pop up a picture here of what the completed lettuce wraps look like because I'm actually going to have them for lunch today. And I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. 
For a snack this week, I'm making homemade protein bars. I always like trying my hand at homemade protein bars, protein balls, protein cookies, because I get to control the ingredients. And these protein bars have five ingredients. That is it. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need some protein powder. You guys know I love my Ascent nice clean protein. I actually just bought the chocolate. It's incredible, by the way. I buy this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. It is in my Amazon store. 25 grams of protein, and it is fast digesting, so it's actually going to really deliver that protein quickly. And like I said, it has nice, clean ingredients, so we're going to need a couple scoops of protein powder, sugar-free syrup, Salt, of course I'll link my Gravity Fed Salt and Pepper Grinders. You guys already know, we love them. I have Lily's Chocolate Chips, and we're back with Nut Butter from American Dream, but this time I'm going to use my Love It First Bite Peanut Butter. This is so good. It has raspberries in it, and it has the most beautiful raspberry flavor, and it's going to pair so nicely with the chocolate chips and the chocolate protein powder. Again, don't forget, I will link American Dream Nut Butter down below for you. I eat it literally every single day. I am obsessed. My husband loves it. I love it. I actually got my neighbor hooked on it. Absolutely incredible. So that is down below with 10% off, and let's make some protein bars. These protein bars couldn't be any easier to make. All five, all whopping five ingredients go into a bowl. So I'm going to add one cup of the Love It First Bite American Dream Nut Butter. You can use any of the American Dream Nut Butters. I just chose this one because I thought that the flavors in this, there's a little bit of like cookie, there's some cookies, there's some chocolate swirl, sprinkles, that raspberry flavor. That's going to pair really good with the chocolate chips and the chocolate protein. But again, you can use any flavor of nut butter. I have a quarter cup of no sugar added syrup, a pinch of salt, and two full scoops of my Ascent chocolate protein. I'm going to mix all of that together. Now with the chocolate chips, you have options. You can melt that down and you can spread it on top of the protein bars so they're a chocolate covered protein bar. You could dip the protein bar in the chocolate, the melted chocolate, but I'm just going to mix the chocolate chips in with the mixture. I wanna have the chocolate vibe throughout all of the protein bars. I did 200 of the Lily's chocolate chips. How fun is this American Dream Nut Butter? Look at the sprinkles, the red and pink sprinkles for Valentine's Day. It just makes me so happy. So I have this kind of odd shaped pan. You could use an eight by eight, nine by nine. You can use whatever you want. This is going to be perfect for the bars. I am going to add a piece of parchment paper and then we're going to add our protein bar mixture directly to that. And I'm just going to spread it out with my hands. So I'm just going to take it and spread it out as even as I can. This is going to go into the refrigerator to chill before we actually cut it into bars. And our goal is 12 protein bars. So these are actually going to be pretty decently sized. Now remember the thicker that you press your dough, the smaller the bar's going to be, right? Because we need to get 12, and if we press this out a little bit thinner, the bars will be thinner, but they'll be a little bit bigger. It really doesn't matter. Like I said, our goal is going to be 12 protein bars. These look so good, they smell good. I can smell the raspberry radiating from these bars and I'm really excited. I'm going to throw these in the refrigerator. We do want them to chill before we cut them into bars. All right, our little protein bars are out of the fridge. I went ahead and cut them into 12 bars. I'm going to just store them in a glass container. These are actually really, really good size and like I said, they smell incredible. So I'll go ahead and get them all packaged up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are our homemade protein bars. I'll tell you, I took a little taste. These are delicious. There is no protein taste whatsoever, at least using the Ascent. I love the texture the American Dream Nut Butter gives it. I get the crunch of the sprinkles and the cookies that are in there. It tastes like a candy bar. It is so good. The consistency of it reminds me of the Perfect Bar. If you've ever had those, it is absolutely incredibly delicious. I will go ahead and put points, 
calories, macros here on the screen, and this is gonna be my snack all week, and I am not mad about it. Thank you for joining me for another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. I can't wait to have these all week long. Don't forget, all of the recipes are on my website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, come on over, join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here is to an amazing, successful week, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.